I'm all about True Detective right now since the new season just started. But I wonder how can big data, speaking of the promise of big data, make a True Detective's work easier, fight crime faster, essentially? So a couple of ways. We uh, purchased a company earlier this year, Public Engines, that does predictive analytics. And we're able to predict 30 to 40% of the crimes that are going to happen the next day in a time frame or location. So that way detectives can deploy the forces much better. And then the other part that we did is we did a Winyard uh, partnership, which has uh, investigative analytics, which connects people, places, and things so they can do better link analysis, shrinking what it would take days to collect into hours or minutes, making the investigations much shorter. But the idea of computers digging around in my personal data, thinking on behalf of police officers, can it be a little creepy or even controversial? Like, how is this not a privacy or a security issue? No, nah, not at all. This is data that's already available in police databases. It's crime data, it's detective notebooks, it's arrest records, they're 911 records available, not very easily accessible. So that's what big data and the software that we have does. It accesses the data, crunches the numbers, and actually does predictions. So it's all publicly available. Michael? I, I, and this is incredibly cool stuff. And, and by the way, it's going to be very effective because in, in essence what they've done is because of all the devices that, out there, they have their own network. And this is not like uh, the pre-crime unit in, in the Tom Cruise movie Minority Report. This is about looking and seeing the history of what's been going on and using that network to be able to say what's likely, what's about to come next. And Eduardo, you guys are also investing in drones. How far away is sort of mass adoption of drones by police departments and how can they really help? So we, did, we invested in a company called Sci-Fi Works earlier this year. And uh, two things that drones will do for police. One of them is situational awareness. So you think about a drone going up, and the company that we invested, they're tethered drones, so they can stay up in the air for a day, two days, three days in a time when there's a situation going on, and send video back. But just yesterday, we actually did a pretty cool uh, demonstration at Motorola where we sent up a broadband network on a drone. And then in the case of a national dis uh, natural disaster, the drone was able to create a dome of broadband into an area and connect yeah. all the devices that the police officers had. Michael, does this not concern you that we might be heading to a, a RoboCop future? I mean, does, isn't it a little bit Big Brother? Well, I, I think that the element that needs to be brought into any of these predictive um, technologies is the, the, the broader consumer user. And I think that once that gets combined with what's going on out there, I think it can make a big difference. I mean, consumers, the crowd, being able to say what's going on is, is actually much more powerful than any algorithm that can get created. So I, I'm not concerned about it because I think in a lot of ways this is something that consumers want and that consumers will contribute to. Right, and you're probably also not breaking the law, at least I would hope not. Okay, um, Michael Wolf, CEO of Activate, thanks so much for joining Great to us be here. at the show. And Eduardo Conrado, Motorola Solutions. Interesting work that you guys are doing. Thanks, thanks. so much.